One of the simplest and easiest ways to lower our golf score is to improve our short game. We all know that. And why do most amateur golfers have such a bad short game? They lack consistency. Consistency in simple things like setup, ball position, distance from the ball, things that can be easily trained. Well, the good news is today I'm going to talk about a new product by Carsley Golf called the Rhymer. Now, I've been using the Rhymer here at the Academy for quite a long time, and there's many things that I like about it, but the thing that I like the most is it is simple and it addresses the key things that you need to be able to do to have a good quality short game. Simple things like ball position, stance width, distance from the ball. These are simple concepts, but they are vital to having a good short game. So let's dive into that just a little bit and kind of show you how I'm going to use it. Now, first of all, the product itself is super easy to use. It's nice and light. It fits in a golf bag. I can travel with it anywhere. Matter of fact, here at the Academy, we have many months of the year where we don't get to play golf outside, so I can also use it inside and outside. And I love that feature because at the end of the day, you might be doing some practicing at home, maybe you're in your garage, and you want something that you can use no matter where you're at, even if you're not heading to the golf course. So let's talk about putting. Now I'm a big believer when it comes to putting that proper ball position is key. Now I like to see the ball slightly forward of center so that the putter comes in contact with the ball as it's just ever so slightly traveling upward. I think that puts the best roll on the ball. And how I do that is I simply put the rhymer down, I go ahead and take my stance, I move the, the device right here, the pointer, to the certain spot that I want it on based on my type of training and where I want it for my student, put the ball straight out from it, it's guaranteed, it's there every single time. And the best part is, is you're actually just training your eyes because a lot of good golf is about training your eyes so that you see the right thing over and over. And if I can get that ball positioned exactly where I want it and I can train my eyes time and time again, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna naturally get that golf ball right where I want it when I'm out on the golf course. Now, I can also use it to train my distance from the ball. I think that's a big part of putting, is being the proper distance from the ball so you can actually see the line of where you want the ball to go. So I just do a simple drill where I put the rhymer down, I take the grip of my putter, I measure it out, put the ball down, and now I've got a couple things that have happened. Number one is the ball's in the right spot in terms of left and right or forward and back, which we've talked about, but also my distance from the ball. So I've got two of those factors already taken care of. Now the other part that's important with putting, I think, is, is that you should have consistent stance width. Some people like their stance a little wider, some a little narrow, that's a personal preference. But once again with the rhymer, I can just go ahead and line it up with the letters on there and I can guarantee it's in the same spot every single time. So with this just one simple thing, I've got the right ball position in terms of forward and back, I've got the right distance from the ball, and I've guaranteed I've got proper stance width every single time. Now, but it doesn't stop there because we all know that a good short game isn't just about putting, it's also about chipping. Now, we've done a lot of different things on chipping and um, I love teaching chipping. And what I like about teaching chipping is, is that the ball position in chipping is huge. And if I wanna hit the ball a little bit lower, I want the ball back in my stance a little bit. But what does that mean? What does back actually mean? Well, with the rhymer, I can actually move the pointer put it in the same spot so I can tell a student, hey, we're gonna hit that low shot, so let's go ahead and move it back to this particular letter, hit some shots, and the ball comes out a little bit lower. Next time, I want you to hit a little bit higher shot. So all we do is we take the pointer, we slide it down the rail a little bit, now the ball's in a different spot, same motion, I get a different type of flight, a different type of shot around the green. So just simply moving the ball can drastically change the trajectory and the type of shot you hit around the green. But you've gotta be able to consistently have it in the same spot when you wanna go low, have it in the same spot when you wanna go high. And the Rhymer allows us to do that. Last but not least, I mean, just I'm just going through a couple of the ways that we use it. I also like it for chipping in terms of just kind of aim. Now, when I put it down there, I like my students to have their stance slightly open. So if they have the rhymer down there and it's nice and square, it's helping with that ball position, which we've already talked about, right? And I can get their feet just a little bit left of that. I now know that I've got their aim or their body position the way that I want it. So at the end of the day, hey, everybody wants to have a good short game. 
And the key to having a good short game is consistency. But consistency in the concepts of ball position, distance from the ball, are key components to doing that. The Rhymer does it. We use it inside, we use it outside. I will tell you this, if you want to have a better golf game, if you want to improve your short game, you better check it out.